just finished testing the Glastron GT185. This is the new Back to the Future boat from Glastron. You know, they're kind of channeling their heritage from the uh, older days in the, the sexy 70s, but they're taking, doing a whole new modern take on it. So it's an all new boat, looks fantastic. You can't help but feel cool driving this boat. It's powered by a 4.3 liter Mercruiser, and with that we got really good performance. On plane in only 2.3 seconds. We had pretty big bow rise, but it went down immediately, so you never really lost the horizon just for an instant. Got to 30 miles an hour in 5.5 seconds with a top speed of 48 miles an hour. Of course it was a little rough when we did our top end tests. We might have squeezed 50 out of it. But when we were in the rough water, you know, we dropped it down to about 16, 17 miles an hour, just to ease our way through the big waves, and it uh, worked out just fine. We're here in Lake Geneva in Wisconsin, not too far from where I grew up. So I'm getting to feel a little bit of the past and the future. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features. This boat really loves to turn. Check it out. It really hooks up beautifully. When I was growing up, Glastrons were one of the hottest boats out there. And you could always tell one halfway across the lake by the signature rearward facing spearhead design. And I'm kind of pleased to see that that design element is back on the new GT185. Now, one of the must-have options you have to get on this boat is the extended uh, swim platform, which gives you a little extra room for water sports, or if you just want to hang out out back, puts you a little closer to the water. And it also gives you a concealed three-step ladder. Now, this boat comes standard with a ski tow, so water sports are definitely in the picture. The 18 foot long GT185 has a 7.5 foot beam and it puts it to good use with a really comfortable sun pad that has a really uh, nice feature of being able to flip up the backrest to create a chase lounge. Now this boat does have the SS seating arrangement which gives you a full width uh, stern bench along with twin bucket seats for the captain and co-pilot. And on our test boat we had flipped up, flip up bolsters which put us above the Roadster style windshield, which really accentuates that uh, automotive retro thing they're going for. And also continuing this theme at the helm, we have uh, really interesting gauge pods that you're only going to see on Glastrons. A totally unique design. And it's got eyebrows to help shade the gauges and pull button accessory knobs, so you got really the cool look here. Now the steering wheel is particularly interesting. It has a center badge that stays centered no matter if you're cranking it into a hard turn or just cruising along in a straight line. On the port side console we have a huge glove compartment that houses the Sony MP3 ready stereo system and plenty of room for all your goodies like cell phones and purses whatever you're carrying along. Up front there's room for a six footer to recline I would have liked a little more backrest angle, but it was kind of a trade-off. They wanted to give you plenty of stretching out space, so the backrest angle had to be um, sacrificed a bit, but it was still a comfortable ride. The Glastron GT185 package even includes a color match trailer and brings it in at 31,000 with a 4.3 liter 220 horsepower Mercruiser. For more information on this boat and other great models, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones, and we'll see you out on the water.